Come on in. The door is open. Hey, what's up? No, no, no. You're not a bother. I just finished the game. It's fine. My dream book? Which one? Well, I have three of those. Is there a specific one you want? Or... Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, if I may be so bold to ask. Why? Not always been interested in my types of literature. From horror to dreams and these sorts of things. Hmm. I see. If I may make an assumption real quick. You recently had a funny dream, didn't you? Or, well, one that you couldn't quite understand. So you needed a book, or two, or three, or four, that might help you in the attempts to understand what that dream may mean. Does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you always look to the side like that when you're nervous, or when you know that I'm correct, but you don't really want to tell me yet. that's what sisters do, especially older ones. You can kind of pick up on those things. Gotta make sure that our little siblings aren't up to too much trouble. <laughs> I do it out of love. I promise. But, if I may ask now, Mm -mm. No, no. That's a different one. Yes, the book is larger, but that's a different thing altogether, trust me. But if I may ask, how recent was the dream, and do you have any idea why you had it? Do you want to tell me what the dream was about? You want to still figure the dream out on your own, I see. <laughs> well, why don't you tell me what the dream was? I'll listen. I won't tell you what my personal interpretation is, because... As we know, dreams are very personal. So what my heart and my mind might say that it might, your dream might mean for me, it may mean something completely different for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I won't judge. Don't worry. Come on. Tell me, what was the dream about? And then I'll give you those books. And maybe a little tip or two. Mm -hmm. Start at the beginning. Or at least, the part that you remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I see. Huh. <laughs> I can totally understand why that would be confusing. Odd. Yeah, that dream would roll around in my brain for a bit as well. I don't blame you for wanting to try and understand what it might mean. Oh, yes, of course. Well, you know where the books are, so feel free to use them whenever you'd like. Just don't write anything in them. You can fold the pages, throw a notebook in there. Not a notebook, a uh, bookmark. You know, maybe even a piece of paper to remind you of certain pages or lines or something. Just, just don't draw on it or in it. Thank you. You'd still like my advice? Alright. Well, I'm grateful that you want my insight. Of course, I can't really tell you everything when it comes to dreams. That would take too long. But I can give you some basics, and of course, let you borrow my books. And hope that you can solve whatever it is you're trying to figure out. I'm sure you'd be able to. You're smart. Yes. Don't worry. Well, the first thing I think you should remember is that these dreams are very specific. They're personal to the dreamer, and in this case, the dreamer is you. This dream, or any other dreams that you want to interpret or try and understand, I think interpret might have too big of a word, or be too big of a word for that. I mean, interpret sounds like it's a, it's an official thing, but interpretations, just like uh, in the non-conventional sense, it's more abstract, isn't it? The idea of interpreting someone's dreams. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, so their dream isn't necessarily for you to tr not translate, to interpret. You may give them guidance and help them on ways to look into their dream. But at the end of the day, the dream of yours is yours alone. You are meant to be the one to dream it and understand it. It is your brain after all. Hmm? No, no, you don't need an entire novella of a dream. Even if it's one tiny part of a dream that you remember vividly, especially if it's vivid, always try and remember that. Write it down if you need to. Get a dream journal. It's fun, and it's a great way to practice your ability of memory holding. Yeah. And none of that, none of that, what is it, that phone text stuff, I'm talking like a physical notebook and a pen, a physical dream journal. It's fun. It is. Huh. Well, I appreciate it. 
The next thing to remember as well is there are a lot of variables when it comes to trying to understand a dream, right? When was this dream taken? Right, where did it take place? When did you have the dream? Not like in game, in game, in dream, but like in the waking world, right? Like say, it, it's that idea of like, oh, you have a test tomorrow, so you dream about a test, an exam that stresses you out because you get all the problems wrong, but in reality, you didn't. And it was just a, a scary dream to try and make you really realize how much you want to focus. Exactly. <laughs> yes, so, especially if it's very vivid, it's very good to make sure that, um, hmm? Exactly, yeah. Um, Yes, seems like you know more than what you're letting on. What a smarty pants. I think the biggest thing when it comes to dreams, interpreting them, trying to understand them, make sense of them, other than writing it down, as soon as you wake up, try and write it down as much as you can. It is extremely important to remember that dreams are 99.999 or so percent metaphorical, not real. It's like one of those really sim-like video games where it's close, you know, but it, it's more representative of something going on in your mind. You know, a conflict, story, something that is not related. Yes. I mean, it, it can happen, yes, where dreams are a bit more on the literal side. But it's very rare. Mm -hmm. course. <laughs> I'm not the best. Not by a long shot. But hey, when it comes to understanding your dream, do research. But at the same time, think critically. What's been going on in your life? Have there been any stresses recently? Any new ones? Have you had to interact with unpleasant people lately? What about kind people? Memorably kind? Or unique and happy and caring? I don't know. You could also wonder if, you know, your mental health has been here or there due to busyness or what have you. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you know I can ramble for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so as a reminder, because I'm sure you've got it. One, remember that dreams are more often than not metaphorical, or part of a way that your brain tries to process certain things happening in your waking life. Two is, of course, do research, think critically. And also remember, it's okay not to fully understand it even after you research the dream, and any potential meanings? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes mysteries take multiple cases to be resolved. The same culprit. Sometimes dreams can be like that where you don't fully know. 
just needs it to appear a couple more times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. And last but not least, trust your instincts. Trust yourself. If you think that you're reading a dream portion, you know, part of your dream, and it says something that's interesting, like you'll still want to research it, right? And be like, oh, this dream might, this part of the dream might be this. You can also use this to help and understand more of what the dream might actually mean. You know, if you, if you had a dream like that, but the person you fought is in real life, but they're not her. I don't know. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Can you tell? No, it's a flight. No, oh, did I wake you? Sorry. <laughs> Close. Again, like I said, you got this. I don't think I need to teach you anything. Use my journals, my books, should you wish. Make sure not to doodle on the sides of the pages. And trust yourself when you try and understand your dreams. Write them down. Read them over and over if you feel like you need to. Don't let it consume you, though, trying to interpret dreams. But hey, exactly, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, of course, happy I could, ha I hope I helped. Trust yourself, uh, research, not everything is as it seems. Um, yeah, I think that's most of it. Any other hints or any other advice that may come from me is definitely going to be in that those books on the bookshelf there. 100%. Of course. But hey, uh, I still need to get this game linked quick, but, um... You're free to take the books. Don't, again, just don't try, so. <laughs> of course, it's Big Sisters of Four. We try and help our younger siblings as best as we can. <laughs> Good. I'm glad and I'm happy I can help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a game to win. But I heard that dinner is going to be at 8. Gotcha. Alright. Of course. See you for dinner. And don't forget. Exactly. Trust yourself and also enjoy the process. <laughs> it's like a crazy mystery, I agree. But yes, I will see you when dinner's ready. Just remember to knock on my door and tell me when it's ready, okay? Okay. Alright. I'll see you later.